Good morning everybody and welcome to Saturday at the shop. Yes, I may be wearing the same jumper I wore yesterday, but my beautiful wife is donning the ho 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 puggle with antler ears uh, Christmas jumper and I think she looks festively lovely, don't you honey? <laughs> yeah, um, yes, so it is it is small business Saturday apparently. I did not know this was a no, thing. We did, we, we did not know, did we, honey? But no. we, now we do know that small business yes. Saturday is a thing. On the radio, it's been on the Facebook radio. Group, it was on the Facebook, Facebook group. Well. Okay, there was a, we've got a local Facebook group and people were sharing the businesses that they like and I had to promote ourselves because no one else liked us. <laughs> <laughs> but they did yeah. say at the start of the yeah. post that local businesses Can, are allowed. Yeah, allowed to promote. Do. So it wasn't that's, a that's yeah. when we do yeah. it. It's yeah, like when, when we're, we're allowed. allowed yeah, so uh, we've done that. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. Um, we're definitely going to be um, advertising more regularly, though. I think we're going to actually have advertising as part of a monthly budget to promote just the fact that we're here and what offers we've got going on. Hopefully today will be a good day. It is Saturday. Um, you know, we are now, what is it, like the 4th of December or something, is it? 4th of December. So hopefully there's going to be a little bit more Christmas um, shopping happening. Um, but there's also a lot of work that needs to be done in the shop um, and in the office. Uh, let me just give you an idea. First job is this leaning tower of monitors. Um, we thought it would be really good to have this monitor desk clamp so we can mount two monitors and overall it works fine. Unfortunately this IKEA table has seen better days and where the weight of the clamp has literally crushed the cheap wood um, and this is just an accident waiting to happen. Now unfortunately um, with being a reseller and finding value in stuff I obviously sold the pedestal base for this thinking I'd never need it so if I take these off I've got no way of using them which is a bit of a bummer um, so I've ha actually bought this monitor or this TV from home it's also a monitor and it will have to do for now and um, we're gonna have to go down to a one monitor setup smaller screen and only one monitor just so that we don't walk in one day to smash monitor pieces all over the place because that is clearly an accident waiting to happen and of course you can see it also needs just a general tidy up it looks messy another job that's getting done very quickly is Rebecca is redoing some of the chalk work on the board uh, we always end up placing this board where there seems to be a drip and we sometimes get hit by the drip from the roof or something and it, and it splashes no, no, it, it can be placed elsewhere. It's just we, we have been placing it badly recently. I've placed it before and it doesn't get hit by the drip. It's only 9.38 in the morning and we've already done a fair bit of work. Rebecca has just knocked up another amazing uh, bacon cheese toasted sandwich and a cup of coffee, which is sat for me over there with our new setup. As you can see, we have gone down to one puny, uh, I believe it's a 17 inch widescreen TV slash monitor. I mean, it's a useful bit of kit because what it will actually mean is if we ever need to test a VCR or a console or anything, it's got all the regular old school sockets on the back as well as HDMI. So it's actually quite a useful device to have as opposed to just getting a giant monitor. Um, and it's obviously created a lot more desk space. It makes it a lot easier to access printer receipts coming out of the Zebra printer because that was always a bit of a kerfuffle, wasn't it? It was, Reaching, yeah, so, um, um, now we've got to get rid of these two monitors. We're probably going to put them on Facebook, maybe. Yeah. See if we can get someone to come and pick them up today, sell them cheap. And obviously just yeah. state that they do not and have stands. State they don't have stands, yeah. <laughs> um, and we're just about to have breakfast now, and then we'll um, get on with the rest of the day and catch up with you. Right guys, a little bit of an update. Breakfast has been eaten, it was wonderful. Have been drinking my coffee and we have had our first customer of the day who came in um, and bought a whole bunch of Pokemon cards. I think they were having some kind of a Pokemon party where they're all gonna be opening packs. They bought a whole bunch of cards, so good start to the day. Let's hope it just continues. Also, my dream of live streaming from the shop is not totally dead. This is the speed we can get from our 4G dongle. As long as we actually stream still at a very modest bit rate, um, that upload speed should be more than adequate even if we do get the odd drop and spike because it's a mobile 4G internet connection as opposed to a solid like line connection. I've just finished photographing and listing the uh, monitors onto Facebook. Uh, just want to get rid of them. I think with the little one, the LG one we're doing for a fiver collected and the other one I think we're doing for a tenner collected. We've got no stands to them. Hopefully someone will come and pick them up from us. Um, 
and that's the aim with that anyway so that's done I might be going out and making my own Facebook purchase um, Bex didn't know this but because I'm such like a Halo fan um, and I'm a Halo pro streamer as well like really pro really pro um, I saw a really awesome McFarlane Halo 3 statue come up um, it's not complete it's missing a few bits but the guy wanted 15 I offered him 10 and he's like okay with it it's about a 20 minute drive mm -hmm. I'm hopefully going to be collecting that now now it may only have been a 20 minute drive um, but it was a 20 minute drive through lanes and I've ended up in this tiny little place that I've never been to called Hambledon um, and it looks really lovely um, very quiet very kind of villagey but it was well worth the treacherous drive through the narrow lanes and the high speeds so I've been into playing Halo Infinite recently and when I saw this figure come up for sale I had to have it it's a McFarlane little um, Halo Master Chief really do like it I wish he had his battle rifle instead of the shotgun um, but still really cool um, figure and it will look good. I mean, I don't know value wise, it's probably worth more than the tenner I paid for it. Um, but this is a keeper. I'm finally back from the cold and wet, horrible weather outside. Absolutely thrilled with my uh, Master Chief statue. He will be coming home with me. Rebecca says that there was a customer. We had a customer. Um, yeah, which we is did. really surprising because it's been awful weather. It's been like really, really raining outside windy cold horrible gray and um yeah we had a customer in while you were out and then we had a customer come in just now as well so we've actually had a few sales today um i think only three different sales we've had today so but that's still honestly more than we probably expected if the weather can improve, even for a small amount, people locally do tend to have the habit to grab the little gaps, don't they? And they nip out. So we may see some sales there. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to be carrying on with some shipping. Um, we have actually sold another one of our Dory bundles. So really pleased those are going out. We're bundling the carry case, the playset, and a couple of figures for like just under £20. So there's a good amount of margin in that for us, believe it or not. Because um, we got these so cheap. So we're going to get one of those sorted out and we've also just had another sale. Let me just show you. Someone got themselves a little bit of a bargain if I may say so myself. This um, was an RC car that I picked up from a car boot earlier in the year. Now I paid what I thought was a bargain price of just £40 for a whole bunch of stuff. This car has never been run. It's been built using the magazines but then never actually run. The engine's never been run. You can see the body shell has never been painted. Now I finally ended up accepting an offer on the car with the body shell, the decal sheet for just £110 plus shipping, which for a car in this condition, i.e. never run, um, I think is a bit of a bargain, um, but it, it, I didn't really get any better offers. I was getting low ball offers a lot. It was up at 135 so take 110 plus the £7 shipping I will have to accept. Uh, still a good profit. Um, from £40 and obviously if I just kept it for longer and longer and I, I still hadn't gotten any um, better offers it was just my money being tied up for an unnecessarily long period of time so glad to see that go too. Right guys I was just in the middle of doing some shipping and look, look who's just walked in. Hello, let me take this mask yeah. off. The, the, oh yeah, <laughs> the, the man, the myth, the legend. Um, some of you may know, some of you may not know this is Steve Hicksy. He's probably the it's his fault that I'm here. In, in <laughs> Gust. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but more importantly, even than that, Roll roasting joke. joke. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not even sponsored. You know, that's the sad thing. We just literally talk about them all the time because yeah. they're just the best. We've got some uh, sausage rolls, uh, red salt potatoes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, we've got sweet chili bites as well. I think this food is just too hot for video. It's, uh, we're gonna have to go, guys. <laughs> right, guys. It's about three o'clock. Uh, it's three twenty actually in the afternoon. And I've got to say, considering how awful the weather has been, we've actually done uh, better than I had thought. I really thought we'd be dead, like zero, no one coming in, because the high street looks barren at the moment. Um, people are only braving outside if they absolutely have to, have to. And still we've managed to get some customers in, and those that have come in have obviously been buyers, because uh, they've braved this weather 
for a particular reason. Now, we're still waiting on our Doc Brown Back to the Future 2 figure from NECA. Unfortunately, that still hasn't turned up. So unless it turns up on Monday, I'm going to have to, well, even before it does, I'm probably going to have to ping off an email or something to just show um, the wholesaler that tracking that they provided me is now showing that it's still an incomplete delivery only two of the three parcels were delivered so hopefully that will get fixed um however in other news we have had our first maxi size posters delivered as you can see they are squid game that's two of them so you've got the guy in the black mask and you've got the steps and then there is actually a third poster which we haven't got room to display which is the one of the guards all stood there with the guy in the mask in the middle the captain i think he was called and we have got this called dump bin so really happy so when someone comes in they're gonna see the dump bin hopefully um pick up one of these they're 5.99 each there's three different types um so really happy with those and they do look absolutely brilliant we thought just put them on the door so people can get an idea of what the posters look like and i think they look pretty awesome Right guys, I've just come off of doing an impromptu live stream at the till. I actually used our mobile 4G router and I just did some settings just to just to see if we can make streaming a reality from the shop because I would love to do some live streams uh, whilst I'm at work in the shop and I was able to get it to work. We had a 15 minute mini test stream in which some of you guys popped in um, and it worked as well as we can expect and it means there will be in the future uh, some more live streams happening more likely from this back office area whilst I was live I've got to give a shout out to Lex because whilst I was live we happened to show someone asked a question I think it was M Mass asked a question what our best sellers were um, and one of the things that Beck handed to me was this Christmas bauble we sell a lot of these Christmas baubles at the moment this particular one this Jack Skellington is our most popular and in fact this is the last one and it was snapped up by Lex in the chat she ended up buying this and um, also picked up the snowman jack as well so a massive thank you to Lex for ordering from the website again this is her second order so I really do appreciate it uh, thank you for that um, those items are gonna get packaged up and sent out um, as soon as possible. Okay, it's about half past five now and um, obviously we're here till eight. Now, because of the long hours that we're doing, we're not just harsh taskmasters all the time to ourselves. We do treat ourselves a little bit. And there is my lovely wife there beavering away at the laptop at the till. She might even smile if we're lucky, but oh, there we go. And uh, <laughs> But we do treat ourselves. And one of the treats, and the reason why she's smiling is because I have gone down to our favorite kebab shop and picked up some fried jalapeno balls. I'm having a little lamb donna for my dinner and Beck is gonna be having a quarter pounder. So um, yeah, it's a time to chow down. I'm looking forward to it. It's nearly approaching six o'clock. Both Beck and I have been well fed. Um, feeling pretty good about that. Um, but we just wanna to talk to you before we um, end today's vlog about how to go about making an offer for something. Han, do you want to talk to them about what you've just read? Oh, uh, so we received a message on eBay, um, and basically putting an offer out there on an RC car. Now, me and Zahir are under no illusion the car is not necessarily running, we understand that, but the person in their message pointed out a number of faults and then put in the offer. Now, um, one, there isn't best offer on that listing. Um, we send out like offers um, when we yeah. kind of feel that we kind of would like to kind of offer um, like a bit of a discount. Um, and uh, and yeah, I, I just kind of, I'm not really that interested in selling it at the price that he's offered. It's I don't think the price is awful, if I'm honest. I don't think the price is awful, but I think, I think it was the wording, of the the wording that puts me. you off. I, and because then it gets like, you thinking that he's going to get no. it and then he's going to find that it needed you. He used the word extensive work, yeah. right? I mean, he's talking about it like he's talking about a 1960 Aston Martin that he's yeah. got. A, you know, it's a freaking toy car. And the thing is, it is a vintage yeah, car. Yeah, it is a vintage okay. car, but so it's not. He's going to need yeah. work. Of course, to it. And, and that's why it was gonna find, He's going to find the parts mm. probably a bit difficult to get hold of. And not necessarily for that one, but 
It's more just the fact that I priced it with its condition yeah. in mind. Do you know what I mean? Like like you said, we, we yeah. priced it with that. And then he's like giving us all the... Um, after it, a lot of thought, yeah. like it, after it, like he's really mulled it over, like it was a really considered. So yeah, don't do that. Yeah, we're or if not, you do, we're don't not, expect people to respond to it. Yeah, I'm kindly. not gonna respond. Yeah, to, we're not gonna respond to at it, all. To be yeah. quite honest, um, just gonna ignore it. To be I honest. am. Yeah. If um, you hadn't put all of that stuff in, we would have accepted the offer because it wasn't far off of what we sent out. Because we hey, said, yeah, <laughs> just. Just saying. <laughs> That's the thing. We sent offers to watches, and he got back via messages because there's no actual offers on the listing. We yeah. just sent offers to watches. He wasn't far off what we sent out, yeah. and we would have accepted it, like if he wasn't such a. Anyway. Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> I am that pay. That's so am I. <laughs> on that note, we're gonna call it a night. Uh, we're actually here till eight o'clock, but what we're trying to do. It's finished the vlog off a little bit early because I'm mm -hmm. gonna see if I can actually edit it here. Yeah. Because because what... our nights at the moment are getting like really really late, aren't yeah. they? Because by the time you go home, edit, and then you wanna kind of have some downtime as yeah. well. You know, pro streamer here. I'm a pro streamer now. Um, on Twitch. On Twitch, I yeah. I can't remember what your only name is. Only cool stuff. Oh. Isn't it? Isn't it? Is it only cool stuff on? Or is it Dingo ate your baby? I don't know. I think it's only cool stuff. But yeah. I think some of your stuff says yeah. dingo at your baby. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, only cool stuff. Pro streamer. Yeah. Pro streamer. Um, yeah. yeah. So it's She's one of my subscribers. <laughs> Bless her. And so she's that. With a prime. <laughs> oh, you're saying so? We have, she just wanted to put out, not because she's put money towards it. Just yeah. I have, have a free sub. I, I have a prime. Yeah. Prime sub. Yeah. I'll so, take it. I will still know. take it. Um, um, <laughs> just going off track here no uh, what we're saying is we're trying to we're going to edit the video so we can go home and i can have a bit more time, time to, to chill, chill. And, and then yeah because yesterday was tough to stream after editing. yeah yeah. yeah we didn't go to sleep yeah. until like one and, and plus it makes more use of the time in the shop because it is going to be quiet yes. the chances of someone walking in are very low but it gives us time to just get some work done you know use the time more productively exactly on that rambly note bye-byes